Let's go back to Pine Grow. And now we will use WordPress actions to tell Pine Grow how to map various elements to WordPress content. So let's start with this start bootstrap um, link on the top. And now we will use mainly we will use smart actions that are very simple to use and they do a lot uh, without us having to worry about how they do it and what exactly happens. So for example here we select start bootstrap and then we go and say okay this is site name and we can open the PHP code preview to see the code that will be generated by Pinegrow and here we see not only will the blog info like the name of the website be displayed but because this is a link then the site name smart action also added the correct uh, href link reference to the home page of our website and this php code preview window is very handy like i usually keep it open when i work because it's very easy to see what's going on and it's also a very good way to learn about WordPress. So okay, we did this, start bootstrap, and we can leave this menu intact because it just points to different sections on this page. So nothing to do there. Okay, now let's do the header. And we can use the customizer to make all of these elements, including the image, customizable. So let's select the image and then here in WordPress Actions we will select Customizer Field Smart Action. And we have to give it an ID. And a label. And Pangra will kind of figure out what we want to do. So in this case, the Pangra knows that because this is the image, we probably want to edit the image and we don't have to do anything else. And then let's start, let's click on start bootstrap. And here for this, we can again display the site name. And for this uh, tagline, we can display the site description. Yeah, let's go to WordPress, export the team, and then go to our website. And now we see that like the name of the web page is already here and here, and this is the web page description as it is filled in in a WordPress dashboard for this page. And now we can also go to customize. And here we have in default section, which we can rename also. So we have header image, let's say select image. And I have, I have two here, one is like a big rectangular shape and one is square. And let's use the square one. Okay, so here it is. Let's save the change, publish. So by default, just the original image is displayed, that's probably not what we want. So let's go back to Pinegrow and we click on this image and we will select image size, we'll say medium, that will be usually enough. And then here in properties, because this is a bootstrap team, we can uh, make the image rounded like circle and we can also set the size the width let's say 400 and when we save the page Pinegrow quickly exports the changed page and in case uh, the full export of the team is required we get this notice like in this case, so then we have to go WordPress, export the team, or do command V as a shortcut. Okay, let's go back, reload, 
and here it is our round image is in the header and we can use the customizer to select the image that will be displayed 